What is up everybody? Thank you so much for stopping by at the channel today. I've been waiting for what, about a month? No, three weeks. Three weeks, almost a month. No. It, it's been, has it been three weeks? Okay. <sighs> Seems like a month. Anyways, I've been waiting. You guys have been waiting. We're gonna skip the nonsense. We're gonna head down there this morning. We're gonna go pick up the Duramax. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. You guys are gonna be able to see the color reveal. I am stoked about this. Uh, there's a lot of deep meaning on why I picked this color, which I will definitely let you guys know in a later video. It's gonna be probably the next video that you see. So I know it's, it's a history, so I want you to bear with me on this one. Kind of relates back to the military. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Yeah, she said because she's gonna miss the black See, truck. I'm wearing black to sport. I want the black to stay, but. And I'm wearing blue. He's wearing blue. I don't know. It, maybe that's a clue. No, maybe it's not. <laughs> but you know what? I like the old black. Outfit. This this is the goal here. This is the goal here. If you guys have seen my Duramax in person, a lot of scratches, a lot of dings, a lot of just rust, and a lot of just a, a lot of imperfections. We fixed the rust. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot. I mean, it looks pretty rusted out, but show that when you turn it over. Yeah, rust city. I think we got all the dings done. I think we got all that covered. A lot of the body work's already covered. Goal really wasn't here initially to paint the truck. It was to wrap the truck. It wasn't, I wasn't gonna paint the truck. Uh, got a smoking good deal for the paint itself, and that's why I went forward with it. I don't wanna confuse you guys as the viewers, but um, the truck is going to be wrapped, okay? I thought it would be a horrible idea to do body work and then uh, just wrap up the body work. You know what I mean? I'd rather have a nice clean paint job underneath there. Once the wrap is bad and I want to change out or just change out the color, I can do that and still have a really good paint job. It makes a lot of sense in my mind. So if I don't like the you can go and wrap it black. Black, again. yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. no brainer. <laughs> like a black chrome or something. That or... black chrome would be sweet. So anyways, <laughs> we'll we don't... <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. I talk too much. Let's go. You ready for this long trip? So we are headed there right now. Stay tuned, guys. I have no idea what it looks like, but it's going to be a good time. We have all the kids loaded up. The drive's about close to two hours, so uh, we're just going to sit patiently and wait until we get there. This actually feels like when I came home from Iraq, the first deployment, to see you. You're, you're more important than my truck. <laughs> it's a whole new look too, so I'm kind of anticipating the outcome. Yeah. I know I am. Well, you're not going to like it. I hope I do. Because you want you wanted it black. I wanted it to stay black. So. But I guess it's not bad to change it up. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Just to make it look like it was new. It looks, it looks great, man. Right here, you'll see. You said you were getting a thing for here, right? Yeah, I already have one. Yep. The box is all right here. Where it was caved in. Oh, yeah, that's right. The big dent back here. Yeah, she's nice and pretty. Oh, yeah. It even feels good. That, which is kind of annoying. But that's not that big of a deal. It's gonna get fixed. It's gonna get repainted. We sprayed some stuff down in here. Uh huh. Down here. Oh, some texture. Yeah, just a little bit of stuff. Uh huh. Oh, right, right. You're talking. How many hours do you have in this bed? Uh, about 25. And then we realized that it was smashed. Right here. Uh huh. It was smashed. Yep. See, that's what sucks when you're uh, that's why they, getting a bed like that. You that's just why don't know. When, you, when you first got it, it had that paint all the way down here. Yeah. It's going to look even better if you let me come in West Sandy. You've got to tint your windows now. I know, everyone's going to say that. i got to tint these windows. What do you think? You don't know yet? You're still missing the black truck. I know you are. Yeah, yeah. I see. You, you made me feel bad. I see the video.
So we are in New Haven, Michigan, uh, Loud and Proud. So Curtis Loud and Proud is their company. It's kind of a one-man owner. Uh, one guy shop is who I went after here, <laughs> but it's not black anymore. You really need to tint your window now, though. I know, you keep saying that. Hey, I like it. Your wife ain't getting mad at you about spending money. She's always like that. Like, and she points out obvious, but it's so true. That's a good wife. You look much better in it than I do. I'm still sporting black. <laughs> but no, honest uh, It looks nice. It looks nice. But my honest opinion, I like the all black, blacked out look. I, I just, I thought it looked really sharp. But it looks nice. I mean, the red, the red's nice too. It's just. It looks really good. I prefer the black. <laughs> look at, look how that shiny frame matches the uh, paint so well. As far as the, the shiny look, it's. I'm not even a huge fan of a shiny it's frame. It's getting dusty and dirty. Yeah, well that was an hour and a half drive, so it's dirty. It's a red color. I like the way it shines in the sun. Oh yeah. It looks really good. Matches the piping kit very, very nicely. That's pretty cool. I'm not actually. even going to pop that hood right now because it is so dusty and nasty in there and dirty. But it is a truck and I'm going to stick I'm going to stick to it. I'm not going to I'm not going to back down. It's a truck. I'm still going to have fun with it. I'm not going to get too well you know, of course I'm gonna preserve the paint. I'm gonna do my best at it, but at the end of the day, it's a truck. So I'm not gonna, it's, it's a mall It's a mall crawler, but I'm still gonna load wood and, and haul stuff and haul trailers with you it. Better be careful with this, this precious red paint now because every imperfection. everything's gonna show. Well, just like black did. Black no, did the same I thing. No, I the black did a lot of your imperfections. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and pull this truck in the grass, in the shade, so it's not so bright. I want to get some good colors here, and it's kind of tough with the glare and the sun. Life of a YouTuber. Yeah, that's much better. That way the sun isn't so glaring. It's hot. Oh yeah. Hot it is a pretty warm day for Michigan. Guys, I want to give you the honest tr truth on the paint job here. You know that old saying, you get what you pay for? just tell you what I think okay personally when I first came up to the truck it's the wow factor it to me it is just it's amazing it's it's kind of an emotional thing as well it's great that it's done okay it's not completely done though if you were to see this truck in person there's a lot of orange peel okay it's because the painter wasn't able to get to it in time all right and I kind of rushed him and I shouldn't have done that but if you were to get up super close you will see some orange peel in the paint um, the reason for that is because he has not been able to get a chance to wet sand it, okay? The truck has to be wet sanded for this orange peel to go away. What is orange peel? Well, it's clear coat, okay? Clear coat forms as droplets, just like if you were to take your Windex bottle and spray, uh, you know, on something, what it comes out, it comes out as a sort of droplet form, okay? And when you're doing one coat at a time, those little droplets are going to get all over the paint. Um, say he did three coats of clear coat for example you're going to continue to see that orange peel it's going to continue to build up as droplets and that's what you're seeing guys you're seeing um sort of the well, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera but sort of that ripple effect or those that's ah, so hard to find a good I angle here it yeah it's, it's really tough you know and, and i'm not asking for perfection here i'm not asking for perfection but it's not the paint that's doing that. It's the clear coat. That's what the that's what the orange peel is. All right. Um, I, I may do a segment on exactly how to fix the clear coat, but at the end of the day, all it needs now is just a wet sand. Like, Should be showroom finish at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, I gotta it, redo that. It came off that <laughs> because first I messed time. it up. <laughs> yeah. Well. You're gonna have to redo this. We'll one. throw another decal on it. No big deal. Oh, by the way, guys, those decals are for sale. Duramax Life decals. 
I'll leave a link in the description. If you've already bought one, thank you so much for that. I'm gonna continue to showcase your trucks as much as I possibly can. I'll throw a quick picture of it in my video somewhere, probably in the beginning, or the intro or the outro, something like that. But yeah, they're 10 bucks a piece. Make sure if you haven't gotten one, all those proceeds go to back into the Duramax. That's how I'm able to afford some of the stuff. So I do appreciate all of the support. Thank you guys. Also, I got some amazing t-shirts coming out. You guys, I can't wait to show you. So you guys got to check that one out um, exclusive to the truck show at this point I'll show another video of that also truck show keep talking about it because that's why we're doing this June 22nd June 22nd guys mark it on your calendars if you haven't done so already um, I look forward to seeing you guys out there who's already committed to going out there with your truck um, all trucks are welcome not just Duramaxes I'd like to see power stroke um, I'd like to see Cummins out there. I'd like to see Gassers, 5.3, 6.0s, 5.9s. Bring them out, guys. Bring them out. I'd love to see your truck. So, so what do you guys think? You let us know in the comments. Um, you team black or are you team red? Yeah. I might lose some subscribers over this one. You think so? Yeah. Some of you guys subscribe because your truck is black as well. So. No more twinsies. But no hey, more twinsies. You know, he can have the, he'll have the option to wrap it too, which... I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not gone forever. It's not gone forever. <laughs> but we are going to get to the wet sanding, and the, 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 the truck is going to look amazing. There's a few dings that I noticed that weren't fixed. Um, it was hard to, to not miss all the dings, though. You, did you, I don't know if you heard the painter in the video, but he said it took him and his 20, son. almost 24 hours just on the bed to fix that bed. And believe it or not, he told me that there was some collision damage prior to that that someone already tried to fix. So he had to undo that mess as well. And his son too. His son yeah, his son Travis a did a lot of work on this truck. You could tell. He did offer to come out to the house and do the wet sand and I was thinking about doing a how-to video on it. I might actually do my own how-to video on it. <laughs> we'll see. I know you're nervous about it, but it's going to be a good lesson for me as well. I'd like to learn myself. Uh, just start in small spots. I don't want you ruining the whole... The whole truck. <laughs> the truck is still a mock-up. I don't have the inner fenders on. I don't have the cab lights on. Matter of fact, I don't even have the seals in the truck. Yeah, you got you got to put your yeah. It's such stuff. a mock up. Look at the light still on in there in I the know, cab. Why is it doing that? Because nothing's plugged in so it's staying on. Mm. Um, You're you know, better. everything's wide open. So, oh yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the tailgate, but uh, I got to put that on. So, I got about 2 maybe 3 hours into just putting everything back together. Uh, we have a axle dump right now. Yeah. We didn't even get a rev. Oh yeah. Truck is back. Yeah. All neighbors. My overall opinion with the amount of money that I paid for the Duramax versus what I'm trying to do with it. It's kind of a win-win on my end if I'm just wrapping the truck anyways. So uh, if you guys went my same exact route and you wanted the perfect show quality, you know, dynamite, like I said, 100% like off the showroom floor, you're not going to get that with this guy right here unless you pay him more. You know, it's, it makes sense. Oh, yeah, you got to get up into like 10, 20 grand to easily get the showroom show. The, you know, this I, is... who's got that kind of money? So. Not well, not you. I'm not like <laughs> not most. Us. I'm not like most YouTubers, believe it or not. I really don't have a ton of money. So, <laughs> no. um, I mean, I'm talking like you know YouTubers like in a bigger scale. I'm not really that big, but guys that you know are like way up there. So, don't have that much money, but we're only working with what we have, you know. And it's actually I'm pulling it off, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad for you know three weeks and the amount that we spent. Yeah, I spent a ton of time on this frame though in the rockers and cab corners. All right, guys, so you tell me what you think in the comments. Myself, personally, I like it. I like the amount of money I spent on it, and I like that we can, I, I guess, I, I, well, I guess we could do a how-to video on the orange peel, because it sounds scary, but I think you guys are going to be surprised. Can't pick it up. It, you can't even pick it up on camera, so it's really not as bad as, as I'm making it out to sound, but it looks great. Okay, I'm going to say that. It looks good. It looks good, okay, and I'm really happy. Goodbye, black paint. Say hello to the red truck. You're missing out. All of you that's been watching the channel, that's been following my build since day one, or since, you know, when you guys first started watching the channel, 
Thank you so much for that. Can't wait to see what we have in store for the truck here in the next, who knows, three years from now. It can be a completely different truck. Who I knows? I mean, there's so much you can tackle on this thing. Like, you pretty much started from the bottom up with it, and once you get done with the outside, you can start on the inside, because the inside needs work, too. Yeah, yeah, that interior, it's 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 scary, it's scary. Um, <laughs> Don't try to get in this Inch performance, <laughs> C new CP3 to come, new injectors, studs, uh, traction bars, leaf springs, the works. Possibly a front locker for the Duramax. We'll see for differential. Yeah, they have those. We'll talk more about it. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I think the red looks nice. You know, I'm not trying to hate on it or anything. I just, I really love the blacked out look on it. Okay. I was used to it, so I'm just gonna have to get used to the red again. I can't stop staring at the truck. <laughs> he's all, he's all goo goo eyed over it. I'm just, I'm just missing the black. Okay. <laughs> but it does look nice, but I don't know. Am I weird? I just no, no, because a lot of you guys are gonna take your side on that one. Well, we'll see. So let me wrap this up. There's a reason why I went red. We're gonna talk about it in the next video. I think it's worth your time watching. Thank you guys for staying tuned. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye guys.